يا رب forgive me for not being able to do more forgive me for those nights that i stayed sleeping forgive me for those days that i was too lazy to volunteer forgive me for those times i held back what i knew i could do for your sake forgive me for those times i lost my temper even though i knew that your pleasure was going to be there for me if i would have held it forgive me oh allah for not doing more subhanallah one of the things that happens when you connect to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way that you do in these intense seasons is that the relationship becomes more personal it's not just any more about reward and punishments it's a connection to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself and just as the greatest gift in paradise is being able to see him day and night the greatest gift in this world is to develop a relationship with him to where your greatest joy becomes his joy and your greatest disappointment becomes when you displease him Abu Darda radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and he was passing away he said if there were three things not in this dunya i wouldn't have been able to live in this world now if you think about the things you enjoy most most people will mention material things most people will mention you know things that they used to have things that they used to do for fun but abu darda radiyallahu anhu said it was three things that made this life enjoyable He said the joy of spending a hot summer noon in thirst because of fasting. And he said the joy of prostrating before Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala in the later part of the night. And he said the joy of sitting in the companionship of pious people whose conversation is full of reflection and wisdom like fruits from a fruit garden. This is what he said was his joy in this dunya. What do you think would be his joy in the hereafter? And I ask you after you worship Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala intensely have you ever felt a joy greater than that worship and when you leave this world don't you think you'll miss it because you have an opportunity to please Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala and that door is closing and closing and closing and you want to meet Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala having put forth the best of what you could put forth and subhanallah this is true even of the best of people Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he was asked by his students about the ayah wala tahsabanna alladhina qutilu fi sabili llahi amwata bal ahya'un 'inda rabbihim yurzaqun that think not of those who are killed in the way of Allah as dead rather they are alive finding their sustenance in the presence of their lord so they asked Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu what is the meaning of this ayah And he said that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the souls of the shuhada live in the bodies of green birds and they have their nests in chandeliers hung from the throne of the most merciful they eat from the fruits of paradise whenever they want to they eat from the fruits of paradise from wherever they like and then they nestle in these chandeliers and once their lord cast a glance at them and said do you want anything they said ya rab what more shall we desire We eat the fruit of paradise from wherever we like. And then Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala asked them again. And when they saw that Allah was persistent in asking them, "Do you want anything?" They said, "Ya Rabb, we wish that you could return our souls to our bodies so that we could be slain in your way again and again and again." And when Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala saw that they had no need beyond that, Allah Azza wa Jalla left them to their joy in heaven. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said no one who enters paradise would love to return to this world even if he could have everything on earth nothing would make you want to come back from this world nothing that could be possessed would make you want to come back he said except for the shaheed the martyr who would wish to be returned to this world and be slain 10 more times for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not because they like the blood not because they like the gore of it not because they like persecution not because they like to be killed but because of what they see of Allah's mercy like Allah is so worth it Allah deserves so much from us and it's just out of love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
that a person would be willing to sacrifice everything for him at any point. And Rasulullah himself, he said, I would love to be a shaheed in Allah's cause and then be resurrected and again be a shaheed and then be resurrected and then again be a shaheed and then be resurrected and then again be a shaheed. This is not about loving death. This is about loving sacrificing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you see the sweetness of sacrifice and the generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in paradise. And the regret of missing Jannah is the regret of the people of Hellfire. The regret of the people of Jannah is that they could have done more for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see, you get to a point in your relationship with Allah that you enjoy doing for Him because you love Him so much. That doesn't mean you don't want His reward. That means the greatest reward is in knowing that you are pleasing Him. And your only regret is that you'll never be able to do for Him what He does for you. Ya ayyatuhan nafsul mutma'innah irji'i ila rabbiki radiyatan mardiyah fadkhuli fi ibadi wadkhuli jannati